What's up everyone and welcome back to the comms channel. This is just a quick update to the last video I posted on the KISS TNC firmware update for the VGC and VTEC radios and wanted to cover a few things on what's currently working and what's currently not working. So first is Apple devices. If you updated the day the video came out, you were likely unable to see the radio show up on apps like APRS5 or Radio Mail. This is because Apple devices only support BLE and the first KISS firmware that came out didn't support it when our video was released. The firmware developers released an update the next day, however, that does support BLE. So if you're an Apple user, just run through the same update process shown in the last video and give it another go. Next is WinLink apps. APRS apps seem to work well, but WinLink packets are a bit more complicated than APRS, so WinLink doesn't seem to work at this time. Now, remember this is beta firmware, so hopefully it'll be working in a future release. Now, I've been talking to the developer of Radio Mail, which is a really awesome WinLink app for Apple devices, and he's been interested in working with the firmware developers on this, so hopefully they're able to collaborate and get WinLink working on these radios soon. Now, finally, on to computers. When connecting the radio to a computer via Bluetooth, it doesn't show up as a COM port, so there's no way to connect the radio to an app on a computer on its own. Hopefully, this will be supported in future firmware, and I've emailed them to request this. But for now, Mike. NA7Q has developed a great KISS server script that bridges the Bluetooth connection from the radio to a TCP server that can be used to connect the radio to programs that support it like Pinpoint APRS, which I have tested and this does work. Now WinLink Express currently doesn't work with this script unfortunately as it seems to have trouble communicating with the TCP server. Now the original script was made to work with the BTEC radio so I've made some adjustments so it scans for the other radio models as well from VGC and Radiodity along with the readme file with instructions on how to use it. I'll include a link to the script in the video description below. Now the instructions are pretty straightforward if you're familiar with using Python and the Windows command prompt, but if you're not, I'll be doing a video to walk you through the process. If you'd like to pick up one of these awesome radios, there'll be some affiliate links in the video description below. And if you go with the VGC model, be sure to use our coupon code of TCC during checkout. And if you're unfamiliar with these radios, check out our review of the VGC VRN76, which I'll include a link to in the video description below, as well as a link to it on the screen at the end of this video. But just wanted to put out this quick update and that'll do it for this video and I hope you found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so because there'll be more updates on these radios and this awesome KISS firmware for them. Thank you all and have a good one.